All right, uh, take two. I was just about to start, and the helicopter flew overhead. Um, close enough to drown me out, probably. Anyway, I'm coming to you guys from a little bit different location uh, today, obviously. I'm not inside my room. Uh, but yeah, if you're new here, I'm Cloudy Howdy, and I'm your favorite Korean immersion learning YouTuber. So today I'm going to update you guys on a little bit about what I'm, I've been up to. I wanted to do it uh, outside because it's like the warmest day we've had in, um, I don't know, a long time. It's like 45 degrees out right now. I just have a light jacket on, it's really nice. So, um, I've basically, I've been working a lot this month. We were down a few people at work and so I've only had one day off. I've been working about 52 hours a week. So it's been, it's been great on one hand, lots of overtime pay. And uh, that is going to go to good use, you know, <laughs> as money does. Uh, but it's been a little bit tough to make the most immersion time, you know what I mean? So, uh, last month I stated that I was stopping streaming on Twitch. That was a huge help. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to get the time in and study when I don't have to uh, think about working at uh, another entertainment thing into my schedule. Um, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, but, you know, and I wish I could do it more. But now is not really the right time. And hopefully by the time I get back to streaming, I'll be able to um, devote the kind of energy that I want towards it. Make it fun, make it interesting. I'll uh, hopefully be better at Korean by then. So I can play more games and have it be a little bit more fluid and fun. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Oh, we've got some friends here. Up in the tree. Uh, yeah, so how have things been? Things have been really good. I have been focusing on grammar, like I said I was going to, and reading. Um, I said I was going to try to get a lot of reading in. Last month, that would have been the month of January, I did a ton of reading. This month I did probably just as much. The biggest difference between January and the month of February was that I was actually enjoying everything that I was reading much more. Um, I put an emphasis on enjoyment and that has a huge payback in my opinion. Um, I quit reading Yonsei, uh, the Yonsei reading after I got into the level three, the book three, and I started reading like three stories and I was like, you know what, screw this. It's great, it's something, it's great to help get you into reading native material, but as soon as you're happy or comfortable reading any, anything, you know, from native material, whether it's webtoons or just reading more subtitles or whatever you have, uh, web novels, the usual, that's so much better because nobody cares about the stories in the Yonsei reading. Nobody. I know you think you do. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody out here, somebody out there thinks they like it. I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> anyway, it's it's a uh, it's good uh, for a while for for a while you have it, you know. Um, it helps get you down the road, and that's what's important. It helps you get to the webtoons. I'm always happy when people start reading the Yonsei reading because it helps it helps get you into into the content. But I'm also really happy when you stop when I hear you that anybody is stopping. 
Um, so, yeah, I and now I get to be happy about myself because I get to I get to jump into that. Um, what I've been doing mostly for reading has been webtoons. Um, I've read a little bit of Ollie's stories in the the Ollie Richards intermediate Korean stories and uh, most of it has been webtoons though I've started uh, I've started reading like four different webtoons including uh, the Koro So Sam Shibun it's the one I started earlier and when you find content that's compelling it's kind of hard to put down I started this new webtoon I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head uh, yeah I was gonna give it a shot but I can't remember anyway it's this it's this webtoon about um, these people who are playing this MMO RPG and it's based on an app that you plug into when you sleep and so it's like this lucid dreaming RPG thing that happens at nighttime when you sleep. Interesting premise, you know, it's like some sci-fi video game futuristic vibes. Um, though it's not set, like the real life portions are not set in the future that much. It's just like a, dis a near future, right? And so the premise is neat. The art is awesome. I really love the art. And the vocab is it's interesting because I, I've played a little bit of video games and I think that's helped. Um, I think that has kind of helped uh, ease into some of these types. And so when you know the vocab, uh, you know, like a lot of the level stuff, armor, attacks, basic RPG stuff from video games. Um, it carries over to this webtoon really well. At least that's what I found. And I'm learning a lot more. And uh, that's going to help me get into more video game stuff again at a more comfortable level. Um, because I was playing I was playing Diablo Diablo 3 as a full Korean localization including all the voice acting all of the wild lines, you know, uh, lines from the NPCs scattered around like the towns and stuff they all chatter in Korean and you can read what they say on the bottom left uh, there's a, a history in text of of all of the NPC dialogue lines uh, so where was I yeah you know I want to be able to get into more RPG gaming like that because it really helps keep the motivation going and if I can learn to f keep learning, if I can manage to learn words from video games and webtoons like this one that I'm reading, that I wish I could tell you, I'll put it down in the description. You guys can just look down there. Uh, if I don't remember, you guys can remind me. And uh, yeah, you know, if I can, if I can keep that helps. That's helping keep my motivation going. Not that I'm exactly running low on it, but I'm just, uh, I, I guess that brings me to a, a new topic um, that this, this stuff is really fun. And that's been a huge theme for this month for me was coming back again, continually assessing where I'm having fun with things and trying to make it fun, trying to make it interesting, keep things moving. Um, Immersing is a lot harder when you're not having fun. That's just how it is. Uh, if you kind of like the material you're immersing in, it's going to be sort of interesting and you're going to pick up a few words uh, or it's going to feel like a drag. We're going to be walking right by this bus. It'll be a little bit loud. Right in the back of it. So... It's kind of fun, it's kind of interesting, and you kind of learn some words. Um, if it's 
if you're genuinely interested and you have a sufficient enough base vocabulary to at least barely enjoy what you're what you're immersing in, then it's so much more fun. Um, I put I put a premium on interesting and fun because I've noticed that if it's interesting and fun and I don't understand a lot of it, when I do start to see something like repeating, it's so much easier. It's automatic. I don't have to try. I don't have to think about it. It's automatic to want to look that up and to want to remember it in case it helps you figure out the story. So, you know, that's something I've actually heard Ollie Richards talk about. I think he talked about it in the book, in the beginning of his uh, Intermediate Stories for Learners book. But he also talked about it in a YouTube video that I watched. And it's about um, learning by focusing on the stories, focusing on the content of the stories, um, <clears throat> on the characters, the events, the mood. Uh, yeah, the story. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I find that when I'm focusing on just enough to to keep up with the story, that's uh, that's helping me stay engaged just enough so that I I end up learning and remembering, repeating these words. Sorry, I'm about to play Frogger. It's my day off, so yeah, I take a walk every day. I walk about a mile and a half every day. Um, so I'm taking a little bit longer route today and uh, going a little bit different, different area. Um, but anyway, where was I? Fun, yeah. That's what it comes down to. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do besides fun, if I may close up this little chapter, is, you know, I, I mentioned that I wanted to focus on grammar. And so that's what I did to this month. Um, I start off each of my active immersion sessions with about 20 or 25 minutes of how to study korean.com and there's something about that website it's great uh so it's it's worked out really well for me i started with talk to me in korean when i was first starting and then as i continued to immerse i went through korean grammar in use beginner and intermediate and you kind of fill in a lot of holes because talk to me in Korean is like scatter shot, throw everything on the wall, see what sticks. A little bit of everything at the wall. They don't throw everything at the wall. Uh, it's very incomplete. Um, you need you need more to get uh, to fluency, I think. You at least have to look stuff up online. You're just not going to get it all from talk to me in Korean. But I went through the grammar, Korean grammar in use. So this time, I waited, I, I put some time in between the last time I studied grammar and now, and I was just focusing on reading and focusing on upping my reading, getting comfortable with, uh, uh, with reading with ambiguity. Um, I'm fine with listening and watching with ambiguity, but reading was a little bit harder for me, so I managed to make that a habit. And then, uh, yeah, because I put this time in between me and, uh, sorry, there's a bunch of traffic right here. I put this time in between me, uh, in uh, me doing the Korean grammar use and then how to study Korean. Uh, I, I spent that time immersing and because I was immersing, I got so many more, um, it, so much more exposure to different grammar and different forms and everything. It ended up being really useful and something that I noticed that now I'm like more of a believer in is that if you are not comfortable with some grammar stuff then all you need to do is just keep immersing <laughs> it sounds silly it sounds obvious it's the name of our game but it is so clear to me now as I'm going through these detailed 
descriptions on how to study Korean or how to study Korean, I every time I come up to a new thing and I'm if I'm familiar with it completely, I just scroll past it. But when I come up to something that I I know, I know I've seen it, but I'm not I'm not quite clear on it. I'm just putting my thumb over the camera. Um, then I am uh, when I when I read the description and everything, it's like everything is so clear. I can immediately remember five times where I've heard it in different shows, lines that got stuck in my head because of all the listening to the web dramas I do, all of the condensed audio. Uh, those have been a gold mine for sound bites because I listen to them over and over again. And uh, most of the grammar that you see in the, you know, a lot of the levels of how to study Korean is going to be stuff that somebody has said in one of these dramas. So. Um, I'm going to wrap things up a little bit. It's already too long. I don't have like a selfie stick, or, you know? So I'm just like holding on my phone. And that's a little annoying. I have to keep switching my hand so I don't get tired. Uh, I... I think this month was a really good month for me. I, the focus on grammar meant that I didn't... I, I wasn't spending much time on vocabulary. I was soaking it up passively um, and adding a couple of cards per day. Recently, in the past week, I started adding about four or five new cards a day. That was good. Um, I'm clarifying the grammar by reading about it and then, and then having a reading session. Uh, it's totally awesome. But uh, I'm excited for next month because I'm going to continue with this grammar study and uh, man yeah I'm going to duck back here for a second um, but, uh, there's a busy road right up there and I don't want to, I want to finish this up uh, where was I completely lost my train of thought I had to figure out where I was going when I came up to this intersection uh, that's about it. That's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stop saying uh now and trying to fill time. I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing this month. Keep finding shows that I like. Make the enjoyment priority number one. Keep doing grammar. Keep reading. And I hope you guys do the same. I'll catch you next time.